This is exactly the type of weather where most of us are curling up with a warm mug of hot chocolate or a hot tati or toddy <laughs> to take the chill off. So uh, we decided to do a little something, something. That's right. I'm going to share again my red wine hot chocolate recipe with you. The great thing about this recipe is that it's so easy and so simple. You could whip this up tonight. You most likely have all the ingredients sitting around the house. Sure. Let me tell you what they are. You know, you really should. You should. You should call this the hot tati as hot opposed tati. to tati. A hot tati is with tea with like brandy or something. And That's this, right. this could be a hot tati. This is now called the hot tati. There you go. Done. All right. So the ingredients are really simple. Some milk. Okay. I got whole milk. Thank the you. Hot chocolate. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You have sweet red wine. Okay. Oh, I like yes. sweet red wine. I got organic um, cocoa powder and it's really simple and then you can garnish with marshmallows or whipped cream but let me let me break it down to you i like to do one cup of whole milk with a package of your favorite hot cocoa powder and then half a cup of red wine so i'm using a one cup to half a cup ratio but if you don't want it that strong use a little less wine if you like it a little stronger add a little more wine so as you guys saw during our commercial break sierra was warming up the hot chocolate for us so again Two cups. This is because it's going to be for it's, me it's and you. It's got steaming. It's steaming. So I think you it's good. You don't want it super hot. So now we're going to add. Okay, strong guy, can you do that for me? So you know, uh, if you if a hot toddy is is the tea with the brandy or whatever Thank or you. the Jamesons, mm -hmm. and a hot tati is this wine and cocoa. Yes, sir. You take the wine and the co cocoa and you add the brandy. That's a hot mess. <laughs> He's crazy. It's official. It's true. It is. It is true though. So look at that. You add the sweet red wine, give it a good stir. What do you think so far? You're purple. like, what's going on? It's like a black cow, it's purple. It is purple, it is purple. So you let this heat up and just so you get some tiny, tiny bubbles. Now I know this combination sounds crazy. Chocolate, It red does, wine. it sounds ridiculous, uh, but. Uh, 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 but it's delicious. You ready to taste? Sure. Okay. You have guys ready to before? taste? Have I tried this before? You have, but I don't think you remember it, which is even better for me. Well, I have too much, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Or whipped cream, sir? Joe's over there. No, I'm not a whipped cream guy. Oh, okay. Right. All right, so you try that. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to make one for myself. Now, like I said, the thing I love about this recipe is that it's simple. You probably have these ingredients around the house. Interesting. Isn't it interesting? And it's, it's kind of romantic and grown all at the same time. What's actually, you know, can you put some whipped cream on the top of there? Okay. I think the whipped cream would actually, um, not make it? it. Yes. There you go. Ready? Mm hmm. There we go. Thank you. Boom. There you have it, everybody. The hot tati red wine mm. hot chocolate. We'll be posting this on our Facebook page. Fantastic. Right. What? <laughs> this is really good. The, the hot tati.